Hi guys, in this video we're going to add a new sprite to our empty project and we're going to then make it do something. So from last time we might have this script which is pretty much empty. So go ahead and delete that, we won't be using it. We'll create a brand new one. Now the first thing to do is for us to add some kind of an asset that we can use as a sprite. So right click um, in this assets directory and then create and then you can find something like sprites. There we go. We're going to use square. So we're going to keep things super simple and press enter that should then appear over here. There are various properties that we're not going to change. It's good enough. So now right click on the sample scene, which is where your things like game objects live. Uh, and then somewhere, um, if you click in the sort of empty space, right click, you should be able to create a 2D object. And these are a bunch of things they can create as 2D objects. The one that we want is a sprite. <coughs> Here you can see that the name that was given is new sprite. You probably want to rename this by just clicking on it. Uh, something like my sprite. So that you know that it's the sprite that you've just created. From then on we can um, see that in the inspector it has a bunch of properties it has the transform component which is like the most basic component that um, you're probably familiar with in fxgl in unreal engine and we would have covered it in terms of theory what that does in short it says where the object is in the game world um, how it is rotated and how it is scaled um, sorry, as in is it big is it small and so on uh, it also has the sprite render which was added by default and currently the sprite property is none which means we don't actually see whatever it is that we just created so what we could do is just click on this uh, button circular looking button over here and then it will pop up with this um, window where we can select the sprite for the sprite render. The one that we created earlier was the square one so it's currently here <coughs> so we can select that and if you double click it will select it uh, into this property and we're now able to see uh, our white square which we can move around in our uh, 2D space. And if you deselect it, um, then you lose all the stuff um, as per usual, as you can expect. If you select um, your game object, all the things uh, will appear in the inspector um, submenu where you can do stuff with your um, game object. So let's have a look how you can move around in the scene view first and then we're going to add a bunch more things to this uh, object that we created. So using the um, sort of scroll on your mouse you can zoom in and out and you can if you hold right click you can then just drag your uh, scene view this is very similar to what you'll be doing in Unreal in the Blueprint Editor. And then by clicking uh, using the left mouse button, you can select things that are inside your scene, such as the camera and your sprite. There are also shortcuts for uh, some common transform changes. If you, while selecting your sprite, if you uh, press W, 
it will change the currently selected tool um, to the two arrows in the 2D space. So you can easily move your sprite in the X axis and also in the Y axis. Just simplifies the positioning. If you press E, it will allow you to rotate. Um, when we're in 2D mode, common rotation is along the Z axis, which is what I'm currently doing. So we're rot rotating um, along the Z axis. Uh, in fact, this is what we're going to do in code um, after we're done with visual stuff. And then if you press R, you're able to scale your entity. You can see that the transform here, the scale changes as I drag this um, thing. Similarly, you can scale in the Y axis. <clears throat> when we're in 2D mode, the Z axis doesn't really matter because you, you don't see, you don't have depth as it were. And then if you press T, you're back to the original selected tool, which is over here, so that you, you can see the move, uh, the rotate and scale tools are W, E, R. And then this one is T, which is just sort of free move as it were. How about uh, we change some properties now? So what if we change the color to uh, say blue? Just use the color picker tool over here to select the color that you want. And now we have our uh, entity of that color. So last thing we're going to do in this video is add some behavior, which is going to be a C-sharp script. So in the assets, right click, create C-sharp script. And then you may want to call this something like rotate script. I really want to call it something component because I feel that matches with uh, what we've been doing in FXGL and Unreal. But if it wants to call it script, then just call it script, I guess. Uh, I suppose calling it something behavior is also fine since we're extending from uh, mono behavior. In any case, once you've created it and named it appropriately, you can double click. And then if you've done the previous uh, tutorials correctly, then you should have uh, Visual Studio opening up now um, with this code inside it. And apparently this is going to take some time. That seems fine. Um, just double check that you have assembly C sharp in this uh, little window. If it says miscellaneous, then go back to um, the previous video and then you should be able to fix it. If you can't, then let me know and then as in via um, university email or um, Teams so we can fix it in one of the tutorials. Right, we don't care about start uh, at the moment. Update is very common. If you've done FXGL, libgdx in Java, or if you've done Unreal Engine, uh, you will know what this means. And we would have covered it as well. This is the single tick of the main loop. So how about we rotate our uh, game object. In order to access uh, the game object, you can just type game object. This is the object to which this specific script is attached to. The transform is the transform component of that game object that we're modifying. So um, if you select that 
sprite. This is a transform component. Um, the only thing that may look a bit weird if you're coming from Java is that in C Sharp, the functions start with capital case rather than camel case. And given that we mostly covered Java in the first year, that is probably one of the first things that you'll sort of just realize and need to get used to. And we want to pass in the um, vector three, which is um, the Euler Eulerian uh, angles, because we don't want to be uh, messing with quaternions in the first video. Let's pass um, zero in the x-axis, zero in the y-axis, because they're not very meaningful in 2D. And if we do something like 60, I'm thinking, multiplied by delta time. This is time per frame, right? Completion. This is the delta, yeah, so delta is the time per frame. And the absolute one, I think, is just time. Yeah, that seems to be the absolute one. So use delta time, multiply it by 60. So this is basically an FXGL equivalent of 60 multiplied by TPF, time per frame. And that should rotate our game objects transform by this, this, and that, specifically that in the Z axis. And let's just go back, Control S, and then go back, in which case Unity should load it. Yep, you should be able to confirm that it has loaded from this window over here in the inspector. Um, and now, select your sprite and add the component that we created, which is rotate script. And if you run this now, we should see it doing something. I've picked not a very good color because it almost blends with the background. Let's pick something else. Yeah, something brighter. So you can now see it rotating um, along the z-axis. And if you want to rotate the other way, then you just negate the value, add a minus sign in front, and it'll be rotating in the um, other way um, clockwise. Right, so in this video, we covered how to create a simple software-generated shape as an asset, which is square. Um, we're going to be using images later on. Once you have that asset, you're able to create a sprite whose sprite render points to that asset and therefore can use it uh, to render its view. Then we created a simple script in which we added just one line of code, which rotates um, our game object along the z-axis. And then we attached that script to our sprite that we created, therefore completing this um, session. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them uh, in the video description, sorry, in the video uh, comment section, or just message me on Teams and we'll look at them. Okay, see you then and thanks for watching.